Welcome to my eMath online Abacus classes. In this video, we are uh, discussing about HCF and GCD. So, first of all, I will tell you the rules how to find the HCF of a two given numbers. And um, using with the tool, okay. Uh, take a look at the words HCF and GCD, both as same meaning. Here H stands for highest and G stands for greatest. Greatest. Uh, C is common. C stands for common in both of these words. And F stands for factor. Factor. D stands for divisor. Okay. Mathematics. F stands for factor. D stands for divisor. Fine. So that is the meaning of HCF and GCD. Both are same meaning. So now I will tell you the rules, golden rules to find out of the two given numbers with the use of the tool. So rule number one. Number one, out of the given two numbers, you have to place the bigger number, bigger number, okay, place the bigger number bigger number on center rod. On center rod and smaller number smaller number on the rod on the left side rod okay left side rod left side rod leaving leaving two rods leaving two rods between of them okay so rule number one you have to place the greatest number of a given number as a center rod and the other number on the left side of that uh, rods leaving two rods between of them. Okay. And uh, here you have to remember one thing. Don't place any number. Don't place any number on the tool while you are doing in this process. That means you should not place any quotient on the value bar. Fine. Next thing, rule number three. Rule number three. The bigger number is always divided by the smaller number. The bigger number. The bigger number is always divided by the smaller number, fine. Uh, this is the rule you have to uh, play the entire process. Uh, let us suppose two numbers are given. Uh, Let us consider a problem. 6 and 44. These two numbers are given and ask you to find, find GCD, greatest common divisor or HCF or 
let's see here. Okay. So according to our rule number one, we have to place the what is the bigger number? The bigger number is forty-four. So this is the bigger number out of the two given numbers. Now place this forty-four on the center rod. So I took this is the center rod, forty-four. So four. Leaving two rods, we have to place six. Fine. So six. So I just place a six. Now you have to use the dividing procedures. Students are requested to learn before how to do dividing procedures on the abacus two. Later only. you are able to understand this video here 6 goes to 44 in how many times seven times and remember you should not place that number seven on the value bar or any place on the two okay you should not place that number because Six sevens are forty-two. We all know that. So forty-two, so leaving four and two. So take a look at the uh, tool now. What are the numbers present uh, present on the tool? Six and two, right? Now, which was the bigger one? Which was the smaller one? Six is bigger than two. Now divide this six with two. And we know in two table six goes to three times. Fine. So now reduce the six. So what left in the two? That is G C. Fine. So write down the answer. Two. Hope you understand this procedure.